Streamfield offers a versatile approach to crafting content. The Streamfield functions as a list encompassing both the value and the type of the subblocks. We'll delve into this shortly. From my understanding, I'd like to group the Wagtail built-in blocks in this way. 1. Basic block, which is similar with Django model field types. For example, char block, text block and choice block. 2. Choose a block, which is for object selection. For example, page choose a block and image choose a block. 3. Struct block, which works like dictionaries, which contains fixed subblocks. 4. Stream block and list block, which works like list, which contains no fixed subblocks. Presently, should we endeavor to include content mirroring our topography? A diverse array of blocks emerges, the image block, both reverse and non-reverse image blocks, blocks for quotations, as well as blocks for ordered and unordered lines. Among numerous others, a selection that our newspaper administrator shall have the privilege of selecting from. All right, folks, it's that moment to crack open your model's file. We're on the verge of revolutionizing our post's body. By integrating this absolute powerhouse of Wagtail, trust me, things are about to get seriously exciting. At the outset of your model's file, import the Wagtail Blocks module, alongside the Image Chooser Block module and the Stream Block module. Let's dive right in. It's time to kick things off with the image block. Oops, my bad. Looks like we brought in the stream block instead of the stream field. No worries, though. Go ahead and make that switch pronto. Photo block. This part of the stream field is designed to hold images. It uses the image chooser block to allow the selection and display of images within your content. In addition to using the built-in block types directly within stream field, it's possible to construct new block types by combining subblocks in various ways. Examples of this could include an image with caption block consisting of an image chooser and a text field. Once a new block type has been built up in this way, you can use it anywhere where a built-in block type would be used, including using it as a component for yet another block type. For example, you could define an image gallery block where each item is an image with caption block. It is recommended to put blocks in a separate file. To keep your model clean, so let's create that file and name it blocks.py. In our blocks file, let's add image text class that inherits from struct block. It has three sub-blocks. We can only set values to a reverse. Text and image. Struct block allows you to group several child blocks together to be presented as a single block. The child blocks are passed to struct block as a list of name and block type tuples. Image text class can then be used in a stream field definition. In the same way as the built-in block types, we will have to import it in our models file so that it can be used inside our posts model.
Image with text block. This section is reserved for a combination of an image and accompanying text. It's using our custom block named image text, which defines how the image and text are structured and displayed together. The next section will be the heading blocks from H1 to H5. The stream field can also accommodate various heading levels. From H1 to H5, each of these uses the blocks .child block to hold text content. These blocks are perfect for creating structured headings within our content. Paragraph block. This part of the stream field is designated for paragraphs of text. It utilizes the blocks.text block to capture and display longer textual content. Absolutely smashing! Now that you've got a good grasp and a solid foundation, you're in the driver's seat. You can cherry pick any topography you fancy for your blog app. Adding that personal touch. Let's jazz things up a bit more. Time to introduce another block. Just stick with me. Time to put things into action. First, let's migrate our database to ensure all our changes are in sync. Once that's done, fire up the server. It's showtime. Head over to the Wagtail admin to see the splendid transformations we've made in action. Give that add post button a click and behold the stream field form materialize before your eyes. This is the part I absolutely adore. Trust me on that. Feel free to go all out and add any blocks you fancy. Then hit that save button once you're done. It's as easy as a stroll in the park. <laughs>